Hi guys, Dave McMillan from Shaving Time. Ah, right, uh, this evening, well, I haven't shaved for a few days, and of course we have brought in the Highland Springs um, Soap Company, uh, shaving soap balms and our shave splashes, which are not alcohol based, they are um, witch hazel based. And here is the uh, Havana Vieja, um, which reminds the, the owner, Chris, and the maker, the soap maker, of walking around and taking in the aromas from the um, cigar making factories in a certain area of Havana. Um, I can say that it's a very nice scent. Um, I used to smoke cigars until the doctor told me to stop. And it's, it's sweet tobacco. Um, doesn't smell like an ashtray, guys. It smells like a nice, sweet cigar. Very rounded. Probably see that back to front, but that's uh, HSSC Havana Vieja. Yeah. And uh, it's one of these dark colored soaps, so you have to watch you don't get the uh, color all of your towels. If you're using white towels, as I am, be very careful. Three ounces, available on uh, shavingtime.co.uk website. Now the razor I'm going to be using is the um, Italico, Goodfellas Italico. Italico. You've seen it before, it's one of my favourites. Beautiful looking thing. Open comb, uh, can deal with anything. It's not overly aggressive, but it's it's good enough to get rid of a few days growth. And just shave generally with it. It's a lovely, lovely razor. I've got a Platinum, sorry, I've got a Persona Red in there. Um, it's been used a couple of times, but it'll be absolutely fine for the job that it's going to do. And I'm using the uh, Sterling um, Flat Top Badger. Uh, again, very nice brush. If you haven't got one, you need one. What can I say? Right, uh, I'm going to start by... I've, I've soaked my brush and I've just dipped in the water again. I'm taking out the majority of water. And we'll give it a couple of swirls. And get things going. I've got a long drive tomorrow. I'm going to go to from here, Broxstead, just outside Stansted Airport, to Darlington in the northeast, which is about a three hour drive up and a three hour drive down for an hour's visit. But there you go. Um, nothing to do with shaving, uh, to do everything to do with my other work. There's an IT manager or head of IT, if you like to call it, but you know, it's the same job. I'm going to just uh, moist my face with some hand soap. It's uh, a Sterling Duke hand soap. I haven't got it on sale yet, but Duke is just such a lovely scent. I think it's based on um, Burberry Brit. And the, just so you know, the, the splashes for the Burberry Brit, the Duke and Intrepid Man and Autumn Glory, they will be available uh, at the beginning of October. So, face all kind of moistened and we'll just start with the brush. So this should probably go in quite thick and then we can work it into a nice lather. You can feel a bit of a facial hair thing going on, which I tend to do now and again, so we won't be shaving the top lip or and we won't be shaving the whole chin. Uh, a lot of guys think that's cheating, but you know, we all have our different uh, looks and this is mine at the moment. Oh, very, very nice. It's really blooming up with the brush. I have some more of the uh, Canadian Highland Springs soap on the way. Um, just get an order put together by the owners. And that means that we will be back in stock with the uh, very popular Eclipse shaving soap, splash and balm and some of the others which are getting a bit low. So if you haven't tried the Canadian soap, I thoroughly recommend it. Nice scents. Not a huge range, which is good, which means you don't have to worry about buying all of them. Some of them come in the uh, five, sorry, four ounce jars. And some like this one come in the three ounce jars. Um, so that you 
can buy many if you want to try them all without it hurting your pocket too much. That's gone on quite thick, so I'll try and water it down a little bit. Probably put a little bit too much on the brush, but you know, I'm worth it. And I think that will do. So, what I'm going to do is start with is uh, just getting the edges right on my, my go-to or whatever you call it. And for that I'm using um, a feather, SS, something or other. I'm going to look in my side mirror here so um, well, no, we'll try and do with that. And you can see it's just to get the edges straight so I don't uh, make a mess of the line. You notice I'm not talking when I've got this thing in my hand, and with good reason. Uh, they are fantastic razors, but they are lethal. Slip of the hand, blood everywhere, what can I say? So we can see we don't shave the tash off. And that uh, Italico with the Persona Red, which strangely comes in a blue packet, just to confuse everyone. It's doing a very good job of removing three or four days growth. I think I shaved on uh, Friday, last Friday, I'll say you go. I was going out to a baby shower, uh, my stepdaughter, not stepdaughter, my daughter. No, my stepdaughter, she's about to have a baby. So she's going for a C-section and she's not telling us today, so we're waiting to see what happens there. There we go. Let's make sure I'm a bit straight there. Not bad. Okay. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. And back to the brush, which has got multitudes of soap left on it. Because I'm going to Darlington tomorrow, I have to go back down to my store this evening and do some orders because I don't want customers not to receive or not to have their uh, purchases shipped tomorrow. So, you know, you have to make changes when you have or when you're not going to be available to get the, the uh, orders out of the door. Uh, we pride ourselves, well, I pride myself. It's shaving time for getting stuff out as quick as possible. Um, I do have, we have had our problems with COVID. The Royal Mail has had obvious issues um, and still continue to have issues. Uh, orders to Scotland from last Monday, a uh, week past Monday, a week past Tuesday after bank holiday, taken a week. I mean, 
you know, they're doing their very best, and let's be honest, we're all, or, well, or we are all ordering stuff online all the time. I think the postal services, UPS, DHL, Royal Mail, I know a lot of the guys because they're the regulars that come to pick up from me or deliver and they're absolutely wonderful chaps. They work so hard and, you know, the delivery services, in addition to NHS in this country, have kept us going during this whole pandemic and they continue to do so. So, there you go, two passes guys, um, I could go for the barn I suppose, baby smooth, but I think on this occasion I'm not going to, okay, two passes, easy shave, a working morning shave I would, would imagine you would call it, uh, that Gladio is a very good razor, open comb, as I say, not too aggressive, and does give you a very nice shave. Just let me dry. Let me just make the towel brown. <laughs> just a little bit. Yeah, you these coloured soaps can stain. They really wash out, obviously, but they can stain your towels. So let's uh, pop on some of the uh, HSCC uh, Witch Hazel Base Balm. Lovely scent, so I say sweet tobacco. Um, but very, very nice indeed. Skin feels nice and smooth. There you go, very quick nighttime or daytime shave, two passes, set you up for the day. Um, as I said, we use the HSSC. The Highland Spring Soap Company, uh, Havana Vieja. We use the Italico Open Comb by the good fella Smile. Sorry, there's a soap again. I say one of these dark ones. Yeah. Okay. We straighten the edges of the goatee with this wonderful razor. I'll do. I'll do a shave with this entirely uh, one day. I mean, one pass. <laughs> Gone. And very very smooth. And we finished off, and I'm going to put some more on because I like it so much. The HSSC uh, Witch Hazel Base Splash. Which means I can ship it to Europe. And not at £19.99 shipping, which is ridiculous. Thanks guys, I'm Dave McMillan. I'm the owner of Shaving Time. Um, I look forward to seeing you soon. Thanks very much. Bye-bye.